Welcome to Mastering Solutions. The problem says that on impact, this bicycle helmet is using an airbag to slow down the head and the neck to decrease the acceleration to help save the person's life. And they say that this helmet is using a new technology that use an airbag. So in tests, they said that the head form that was wearing it was dropped onto a rigid platform and the speed just before impact was six meters per second. So the V initial is going to be six meters per second. And then upon impact, it compresses to 12 centimeters thickness, slowing the head form to rest. So to rest means V final is equal to zero meters per second. And the delta Y they say is a 12 centimeters which of course is equal to 12 times 10 to the negative two meters, or you can also write it 0 0.12 meters. Both of these are the same. So now they want us to know what is the acceleration in G's experienced by the head form. And they say that acceleration greater than 60 is especially dangerous. So we're trying to make sure that it's less than 60 for our answer. So essentially we want to see if the answer that we get is less than 60, which would make it, you know, less dangerous, like they say, for the person. Now, when we look at the delta Y, one change that we need to do is in this question, we have, and going up is the positive Y direction and going down is the negative y direction. And so we're dropping it down. So this delta y is going to be a negative 12 centimeters. So all these will also be negative. And so now we need to find a kinematic equation that has all of these variables in it, including the one that we're trying to solve for. So the one that we'll be using is v final squared is equal to v initial squared plus 2a times the delta y. So now we're trying to solve for the acceleration. So let's isolate it by moving the V initial squared over. So we have V final squared minus V initial squared is equal to two A delta Y. Now we'll isolate the acceleration by dividing both sides by two delta Y. So these will cancel out. We'll divide by two delta Y. And now let's come down over here and we have acceleration is equal to V final squared minus V initial squared over two times delta Y. So now from our initial variables that we were given, the final velocity we said was zero. So we can get rid of that. And now we can simplify it one step even further. So negative V initial squared divided by two, two delta Y is equal to the acceleration. And a note, it, you need to make sure that the velocity initial squared is different or inside of the parentheses to the minus sign. If you have a negative two velocity initial squared, the negative will go away, which could give you the wrong answer. So now let's plug in our numbers into our equation. So we have acceleration is equal to negative, And we said the initial velocity was six meters per second and then we'll square that value divided by two times delta Y and delta Y we said is negative 0 0.12 meters. So negative six squared divided by two, let's do this, two times negative 0.12. So now if you look at the equation, we have a negative value on the top and a negative value on the bottom which will give us the proper answer for the acceleration. So we have the acceleration is 150 meters per second squared, 50 meters per second squared. Okay, and now they say in the answer that we have to give it in Gs. So we wanna take the, the answer that we just got, the acceleration, and we want to divide it to put that in Gs, we wanna divide the acceleration by G. So we have A over G is equal to 150 meters per second squared. And now dividing by 9.8 meters per second squared gives us 150 divided by 9.8 gives us 15.3. So 15 Gs. So this is a ratio, meaning how many times the gravity is the acceleration that we got. So we got 15 Gs is the acceleration. And now they said that over 60 is especially dangerous. So six, uh, 15, excuse me, is way less than the 60, of course. So this 
the helmet is definitely helping to make the crash less dangerous.